Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy, Nisi. Coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial here today on the channel. Okay, so I got a really dope rapper from the UK that I love, a really dope lyrical rapper who I enjoy his music a lot. It's going to be Dave. It's going to be the Dave vocal preset here today. So if you guys do like this vocal uh, tutorial, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also down below, you know, drop more suggestions for artists that y'all want to see, y'all want me to do tutorials for. And also check the link down below to grab this really dope preset if you guys do like it here today. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what it sound like. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life is squinting, conscious stem. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway there. Brown and bad, could have changed my mind, I was halfway there. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life is squinting, conscious stem. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway there. Brown and bad, could have changed my mind, I was halfway there. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, can't just stare. stare. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway there. Halfway there. Brown and bad, bad. could've changed my mind, I was halfway there. Okay, so that's me trying to do my best impression of Dave. Dave is a really, really dope rapper, bruh. Like, he's a really dope rapper. He got songs with Jack Harlow. He got the song with Central C Sprinter. Like, this guy is a really, really dope rapper. And he raps about, like, he's, like, a really dope lyrical rapper. And one thing I love about his vocals, especially on a song like Sprinter, is they have this really nice clarity, but also a warmth to them as well. You know, his vocals kind of remind me of a cup of coffee. You feel me? In the morning, you feel me? It has a little bit of heat to it, but also a little bit of sweetness to it too right from the warmth so this is going to be the vocal preset so let's see what it uh kind of sounds like uh with and without the vocal preset real fast take a look at these diamonds wrong is a life of squinting can't just stare Stale. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway there. Halfway there. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind, I was halfway there. Take a look at these diamonds, take a look at these diamonds wrong is a life of squinting can't just stare. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, can't just stare. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, can't just stare. stare. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway there. Halfway there. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind, I was half. So a really dope vocal preset that I got here today, you know, it's all about getting a presence and also the warmth at the same time with the modern mainstream clarity. So it's kind of like a porridge with Goldilocks, not too hot, not too cold, just right. You feel me? So I like, that's what I like about uh, Dave's vocal texture. It feels very appropriate, very ver versatile. You feel me? He's a really dope lyrical rapper. So the very first thing that we're going to be working with on the Dave vocal preset, we're going to be using Safria. So I picked the Safria here specifically because it lets me pick a little bit of the even and the odd order harmonics. I'm just using a combination of both of them. So just remember that even order harmonics, just remember as it, are you even trying to get fat, right? Because even order harmonics, they make things fatter. They make things warmer. And then odd order harmonics is like odd pent up anger, like a pento tube, right? And those add a little bit of edge and aggressiveness to them, you know? So um, it's very interesting how we have also an EQ section after the saturation as well to help us out, like rebalance the signal. So that's the first thing that we got. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life is. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life is squinting, can't just stare. stare. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway there. Halfway there. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind, I was halfway there. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life is squinting, can't just stare. So the very first thing that I'm using is I'm using the Safria to add a little bit of a sugar. A little bit of weight, you feel me? Like Weight Watchers, we putting a little bit of weight on that big, you feel me, dad, dad, dad. We being like the doctor, we telling the vocal man, you kind of anorexic, you got to gain a little bit of weight. So we put in a little bit of saturation to add some harmonic density right out the gate. And I used a little bit of EQ to kind of like roll off the bottom because it, you know, it, um, you know, the saturation made everything, it made the belly a little bit bigger. It made the belly poke out of the shirt a little bit. So we had to roll off a little bit of the low end so it didn't get too fat too fast. Then we have the SSL E channel strip. I'm going with this for Dave because, you know, SSL E channel strip is a lot cleaner. It has a more of a less distortion to it versus where the SSL G is like that grimy boy standing around the corner. You feel me? Ready to pick a fight with somebody. It's a little bit more aggressive, a little bit dirty. It's a little bit more in the mud. You feel me? So the SSL E is kind of like a clean shirt that just came right out of the laundry. And the SSL G is like a dirty shirt that you was playing around in the playground with. And they got shit stains and they got all types of fucking ketchup stains on it and stuff like that. You know, it's a little bit more dirty so SSLE is clean we're going with a cleaner of uh, vocal style rolling off that low end uh doing the high shelf and the most thing important thing for Dave was just a sprinkle of the green band bruh because that green band has a way of bringing out a little bit of the articulation so uh, let's look at that 
Take a look at these diamonds wrong as a life of squinting Conscious still With bay through thick and thin She already fixed so I'm halfway there Brown and bad Could've changed my mind I was halfway there Take a look at these diamonds wrong as a life of squinting Conscious still With bay so when you hear, take a look at these diamonds, like those words, you know, the, the safria is kind of like taking a little bit of cream sugar into the coffee and dumping it in it. It's making it a little bit sweet. But with that green band, I'm trying to add a little bit of that edge back into the vocal. You feel me? A little bit of that sharpness. You know, I'm taking that 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 pencil sharpener, just sharpening it a little bit. You feel me? The pencil's a little bit dull. The vocal's a little bit dull after going through that tape, you know, because the tape... Uh, kind of warms up the vocal so that's what i'm using to, to bring that back in so uh, after that we use the rds -er. we already know what that does uh, and then i use a c4 pop vocal preset and i reduce the range so it's not as aggressive as the default preset which kind of like pulls everything down by 4 db it's just a, something very moderate uh scooping out the mid-range ever so slightly and helping the vocal kind of move around a little bit like jello jiggle 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 take a look at these diamonds wrong as a life is take a look at these diamonds wrong as a life is squinting can't just stare. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, can't just stare. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, can't just stare. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, can't just stare. There. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind, I was halfway there. there. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind, I was half there. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind. I so just imagine like the, the, the vocals are kind of like... Without the C4, they feel like they're on a sheet of paper. They kind of feel a little bit of flat, a little bit. And then when you bring in that C4, what it does, the words that come to mind is it makes it jump off the page. Because the attack and the release is kind of like, you know, agitating a little bit like a trampoline, bouncing up and down on the high mid and the high end. So it's giving the vocal a little bit more wiggle room, you feel me, making it move around a little bit more. Um, and after that, we have a, a Pui Chow 670. I use that on Dave specifically because I was looking for vocal air. Yes, I use the Fairchild to get vocal air. That's what it does, bro. It has tubes in it, so the naturally just running through it, the tubes give a little bit of nice uh, sparkle to it. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind. I was halfway there. Yeah. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind. I was halfway there. Yeah. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind. I was halfway there. Yeah. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind. I was. So I really use this compressor more like an EQ move than anything. I'm not even really using it for the compressor. Of course, we do have a, just a little bit of compression, just you know, giving it a little bit of. Value. Valentine's Day kiss, you feel me like Cupid with arrow just ever so slightly kissing it. But for sure, I'm using it mostly as an EQ because I know as soon as I pull this plug in out, the tubes are going to give me some brightness. It's going to give me a little bit of air, right? So that's why it's important to know the components inside of the car, you feel me? You just don't get in no car without knowing how the steering wheel and the brake and the, you know, the shift stick work. You got to know what's under the hood before you can whip and take off, you feel me? So after that, we have the REQ right here, and uh, we're rolling off just a little bit of low end because, you know, this has some tubes, so it also gives it a mid-range push, trying to rebalance the vocal, you know, working on that low end and everything after getting that mid-range push and doing another little high shelf for uh, the day vocal. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, can't just stare. stare. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway there. Brown and bad, could've changed my mind, I was hot. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, can't just stare. stare. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway there. Brown and bad, could've changed my mind, I was halfway there. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, can't just Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, can't just stare. stare. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway, halfway there. there. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind, I was halfway there. All right, so something that's very delicate, but it's still helping the vocal after that. We use the Arvox for the gate, and just the one, a point one of Arvox, it just helps, uh, you know, bring in a dollop of a little cream sugar to the coffee, which is his vocal, like I said in the beginning. His vocal just reminds me of Starbucks for some weird reason in the walls and shit like that, in the video of Sprinter and all that stuff like that, too. Very brown. And maybe because he says brown and bad, too, you know? So uh, using that Arvox on that point one squeeze, bruh, and it just has a good way of adding a little bit of mellow, presence to the vocal take a look at these diamonds wrong as a life of squinting can't just stare take a look at these diamonds wrong as a life of squinting can't just stare take a look at these diamonds wrong as a life of squinting can't just stare take a look at these diamonds wrong as a life of squinting can't just stare something you can hardly notice but it's more felt than heard after that we have a, a way a way a way way good plugin i consistently use which is the fresh air, you know, mostly using it for that mid-range push, you know, coming back, trying to reinforce what we did with the green band, you know, that, that, that you know, we're trying to boost the transients back into his vocal, essentially browning back. Take a look at these diamonds. That's a very important part of the, his vocal sound 
and that, those first beginning words, those transients just kind of bring an exclamation mark to the hook, you know what I mean? So we we'll use fresh air. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, conscious stem. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway there. Brown and bad, could have changed my mind, I was halfway there. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a so there's varying degrees of brightness that you can bring to a vocal. For his vocal specifically, I imagine it like a car. You know, when you're in a car, you have two different types of lights. You can hit You can hit the regular lights, the, the low-level lights, or you can hit the high beams. You feel me? So, you know, some vocals, some vocal styles are super bright. Like, you hit that little blue light, you know, that little blue turn shit, and it has, like, a little blue thing on the dashboard, and it's, like, the super bright light, you feel me, that could blind somebody. That's, like, superly bright vocal vocals and just like a super bright vocal is like a super bright light sometimes it could become unbearable so there's different types of brightness so specifically with this type of brightness i'm going for that like regular when you in the car on that first you feel me that low level brightness type shit at five o'clock in the afternoon p.m you turn on that little you feel me that that that, that light that low level normal brightness that don't blind a motherfucker in the street then we have the de that's only doing one to three dbs then we have the waves uh silk vocal uh, mostly for the gate, you doing a little more compression with the Arvox. And uh, did I compress here? Yeah, I did a little compression right here. There's a little compression here, a little compression there. And also the tape is giving us a natural form of compression too. So very smooth and not pumping and breathing. There's different type styles of compression, but it's a very smooth type of compression we're going for here today. Yeah. Take, Take a, a look at these diamonds, diamonds. wrong as a life of squinting, conjure stale. stale. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway there. Halfway there. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind, I was halfway there. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting. Yeah, most important thing is just going to be these two things like that high pass filter and the low uh, shelf reducer. Those are just adding a little bit. Uh, they're just kind of like clearing up the roadblocks of the muddiness and kind of going to the Everglades and clearing out the swamp in the vocal a little bit. So after that, we have the uh, the H delay, you know, doing a quarter note. Oh, my God. We know what that shit does. And then after that, we have a plate. A plate, um, Abbey Road's plate, and I like the Abbey Road's plate because it brings some density to the mid range in a, a day vocal. So, you know, of course, you know, I, yeah, when I think about my reverb, I'm thinking about my density area too and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I reinforce that and just specifically just a mid range plate reverb just to bring some presence. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, conjure stale. stale. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway there. Halfway there. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind, I was halfway. Th so when it goes about picking reverbs, I don't necessarily pick reverb for the sound of the reverb. I go for like, oh yeah, I know a plate reverb is gonna add some, uh, you know, higher mid, uh, you know, energy. I know, oh, I know a room reverb is gonna add a little bit lower mid energy. You know, I kind of see it in a way like that too. You know, so after that, we have a doubler. Um, and yeah, you know, just using that doubler to add a little bit more dimension. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life of squinting, conjure kind of stale. stale. With bay through thick and thin, she already thick, so I'm halfway, halfway there. there. Brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind, I was halfway there. After that, we used the um, Puig Child 670 again, and we used it on parallel. Uh, specifically here and uh yeah i know I, I use the pop vocal preset again and man this is an overpowered ad preset i don't know what it is but just a little bit less input gain and this co time constant three i don't know what the hell is in this but man it makes the vocal sound bright bro take a look at these diamonds wrong as a life of squinting conjure stale. stale with bay through thick and thin she already thick so i'm halfway there, halfway there. brown and bad, bad. could have changed my mind i was so I'm going for like uh, analog brightness specifically. You see, like with uh, the using the Fairchild's here and another one there. You see, like man, that, that's adding that's adding brightness, bro. That's a gem right there. But it's like that good type of brightness. It's like you eating strawberries. You know, you never heard nobody get a, a overdose or get a sugar rush on strawberries because it's naturally sweet. You know, it's that na that natural sweetness. So because it's like the vocal is, I'm getting naturally bright. I can push more and more of that brightness from something like the the 670. You feel me? The 670s back to back. Like those are giving me the brightness of this vocal, not really like the fresh air and stuff like that. And then after that, let's go over the ad-libs real fast. So we have a SSL E um, channel strip, just to, just trying to get a little bit of air and focus that high end, you know, going between that high shelf and that filter together, kind of like boosting and cutting at the same range, you know, 10Ks up in the Ks, up in the Ks. And we have a 670 again, and um, I have it on unlinked mode. And I did that just to make the ad libs flam a little bit. And you see, I like fucked around with the thresholds a little bit. I had the wave silk vocal again, only just controlling that low end. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Take a look at.